Hey guys, it's Father David Michael, and I just learned some crazy stuff about church bells and why exactly the devil hates them so much. Bells aren't just another architectural element on a church campus. They have a lot of significance. We actually just installed a bell tower at my parish with three huge bells. Unfortunately, they don't have the one feature I asked for, which was a snooze button. But how the bells are blessed is fascinating. First, they're covered in holy water. This was sometimes viewed in antiquity as kind of a metaphorical baptism of the bells. Then each bell is given a unique name. Name. They get names because they're seen as evangelists. Through ringing, they quite literally proclaim the gospel, calling people to God. We named our bells Faith, Hope, and Love. And the largest bell is fittingly named Love. Because as St. Paul says, the greatest of these is love. Everybody say, ah. And check this out. Historically, the bishop would even anoint the bells using the oil of the sick. So the same oil that priests use for anointings. Because the bells would call the sick to the healing power of Christ. Then, and this part is probably my favorite, the bishop would anoint the bells with the sacred chrism. The same oil used at baptism baptisms, confirmations, and even at the ordination of priests. The chrism would consecrate the bells to service in the church. The bishop would say, at the sound of these bells, may the enemy always flee, the Christian people be invited to faith, and the hostile army be struck with terror before the Holy Cross. Exorcists say that the devil hates bells because bells are specifically used to draw attention to the worship of God. So a final thought, considering that bells are a big deal and make a big difference, here's Here's my challenge for you. Don't let a bell be a better Christian than you are. Don't let a bell preach the gospel more than you do. Don't let a bell bring more people to the church than you do. Don't show up at the end of your life having truly been baptized, truly been consecrated, truly been named and called by God, but having done less for the kingdom than a bell. If you found that helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. God bless.